recruiting is broken. And it's broken for four primary reasons. Is first and foremost, we start looking for people after we realize we need them. And that makes us urgent buyers. And we're only talking to the 30% of people who are looking for work either passively or actively at any given time. And so those and are primarily made up of people who are very unhappy with their work, are about to lose their job or out of work. Yeah, so we're in a situation where we are motivated buyers talking exclusively to motivated sellers. And it is a recipe for really horrible results. And all of that's compounded by the fact that we're not clear on what we're looking for. We're not clear, you know, our job descriptions are written to weed people out to make the job easier for recruiters, um, rather than to be inclusive, to find out, really take a, a look at who is capable of doing this work. But we, we generally, those job descriptions are just recycled from years ago. And even if we wrote a job description today, the pace of the market is changing so quickly that job description will be out of date months, if not days after they, uh, they're hired. And then three, we're outsourcing the job of our recruitment to the people who don't really understand the needs. Um, and all of this is compounded by the fact that we take a purchasing approach to the recruitment of humans which works when you're buying microchips and Xerox copiers and pencils, but Xerox copiers and pencils don't care where they end up. People have a vested interest in what they're looking for. And people, to, in this day and age, the best employees are, are seeking meaning and agency. They want to know that their work has is anchored in some sort of higher purpose and that they will be able to make decisions on how to do that. And so you need to take a vastly different approach. And so focusing on what it is that your culture has to offer, what is the, yeah, what is the meaning that you as an organization can provide employees, and then have your employees be the ones who are going to speak about those values, engaging with your targets, you know, creating relationships with that targets, um, identifying and using, you know, those interactions to really identify the, who are those people who have the capability of being successful in your organization, who want the things that your culture and your organization provides, and who your employees actually want to work with. And once you've identified those people and you're building a pipeline of people who fit those three criteria, when it is time to hire, you already have relationships with a group of people uh, who are going to be a fit for your organization. So rather than going to the market and going through 300 resumes of people who may be a fit, but are most likely not, you are exclusively talking to a significant group of people who will be a fit and want from what you have to offer. And so when you realize it's time to hire to hiring, it goes much faster with a much better result that's much more sustainable.